Gateway Egg Growth. Meditation. Meditation is an ancient wellness practice that focuses on training awareness, attention, and compassion. Nearly every scientific study done on how meditation affects the human body has been done in the 21st century. In fact, in 1960, some of the first Western research took place on yogi master Swami Ram. Through meditation, he was actually able to remain conscious of the surrounding environment even though he was in a deep sleep cycle, produce different types of brain waves on demand, altering his heartbeat dramatically, even stopping it for a couple of seconds. He was even able to control his skin and internal body temperature. And since researchers found countless benefits of meditation. Just to name a few, improved focus and concentration, reduced blood pressure, decreased intensity of pain, sharpened memory, reduced anxiety and stress, enhanced decision-making ability, improved heart health, and an increase in love and kindness. Oh. Though meditation has roots in Buddhism, you don't have to be religious to practice meditation. It's for everybody. There's many ways to meditate, but let's go over a few. Mindfulness meditation. You pay attention to your thoughts while they pass through your mind. You don't judge the thoughts or become involved with them. You just let them flow. Spiritual meditation is similar to prayer in which you reflect on the silence around you and seek a deeper connection with your God or universe. Essentials are commonly used to heighten the spiritual experience. Sage, cedar, saddle, wood, palo santo. Focus meditation involves using concentration of any of the five senses. For example, you can focus on something internal like breathing, or you could bring external influences to help focus your attention. Try counting mala beads or listening to a gong or staring at a candle flame. Movement meditation is an active form of meditation where the movement guides you. It's great for people who find peace in action and like to let their minds wander. Yoga is a popular form of this meditation, but it could also be walking through the woods or gardening. Many people give up on meditation because they think it's too hard or it takes too long to achieve any noticeable differences. Not true. Constant meditation is more important than lengthy meditation. 10 to 20 minutes a day is all it takes to begin noticing differences. The mind is a gym and meditation is a simple workout. You don't go to the gym first day and expect to get muscles. No, it takes a little bit of consistency. Try just being more mindful throughout your day. Stop and observe. Take a moment to watch your surroundings without judgment. Start savoring your meals. Use the first couple bites to admire the flavor and texture and taste. Breathe. When's the last time you took a real deep breath? I mean, filling up your lungs with air and then releasing. Try to do it at least once a day. If you don't have 10 minutes a day to give to your mental and physical health, you're way more unhealthy than you think. Health is wealth. Put a daily alarm on your phone. Take it seriously. You're going to thank yourself in a few weeks. Do you meditate? How often? For how long? You know somebody that works real hard and needs to meditate more often? Tag them right here. Gateway growth.